with the hat, with the red hat on. Can you hear me? I need someone. Oh, I got to verify. What I'm about to say fools me in such a way I don't want you to miss out. All right. All right. It is my distinct pleasure. And I do leave from the bottom of my heart. To knowing that a woman that has impressed me from day one. Her name. Can you still hear me? Yeah. yeah. Tish my niece. This, Tish my niece. This woman has moved me in a way that I could not, will not, miss the opportunity to nominate her for a position that she is so qualified for. Hallelujah, amen. Vice Chair of County Liaison of the Democratic Party of Georgia. The reason why is because of what I have seen her do. I have seen her come into my own county, of Ben Hill County, and work. Work in the way of training, work in the way of directing, motivating me, personally. I have seen other people talk about how she had done the same thing in their presence all over again. At first I thought it was, I was so special. This, this woman has a, a number of things in her bio, but that's not, not the most important. Just to give you a little bit of an idea, yes, she did get a thank you letter from Senator Obama as part of her election for serving in the fellows team of 2007 and 2008. Oh yes, yes she did. She did. Coordinate, get out to votes in, 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 in elections so that they were overwhelmingly won. But most of all, she is a trainer, a motivator to make people mirror, mirror the person that she is. Join me in my nomination for an individual that can spread her enthusiasm of the Democratic Party to others like me and you. Good afternoon, fellow Democrats. Good afternoon, fellow Democrats. Good afternoon. My name is State Representative Jared Jackson. I stand before you to second the nomination of Tish Nagisi for Vice Chair of County Liaison. I can read all her accolades. I can even add to the second of the uh, that powerful, passionate speech that we just given. But I am going to yield so you all can hear from her herself how she not only motivated the district that she was assigned during that last election cycle, 234,000 votes when she did the get out the vote registration. So I nominate, strongly nominate, Tish Nagisi, I present to you and introduce, and with your vote, to be the next vice chair of County Liaison. Good afternoon, how are you? Great. Great to hear that. My name is Tish Nagisi. I am a native Georgian. I am the daughter of a man that worked all his life as a truck driver. He was a teamster. He taught me the value of being a Democrat and what it means to always be a Democrat and vote that way and to give service. I started uh, actually young working in for the Democratic Party. Um, I was handing out leaflets for then uh, President Carter. I did that uh, because of what my father had taught me, the values of being a Democrat. And as I got older, I realized uh, the values that we were, uh, I wanted to fight for. 
And so in 2008, when President Obama then came out and he needed fellow, I was one of the chosen ones out of 3,500 that he had in the whole United States. I have organized in the way that he has taught me in grassroots. I have been a volunteer. I went out for a garner signatures for the ACA so that we can have uh, the Affordable Care Act. That meant that I went to individual counties garnering signatures so people could come out and know that we needed uh, ACA. When they needed someone to go down to Florida in 2008 because they felt like Georgia wasn't going to be able to win, I packed my bags, I went to Florida. That was because I believed in the Democratic Party. And after 2008, uh, I continued to work for the party. Um, I, I live in Fayette County. Uh, I love my county. We have, since I have been out the GLTV coordinator, we have uh, a, a mayor now on Fayetteville. I help coordinate that. We also have a commissioner for the first time in Fayette County history. This last election, Fayette County got 42% of the vote for a Democratic candidate. Fayette County has always been a red county. I believe that the, the leadership that I have in helping us to garner that, those votes, um, I'm going to use that to go in the future for all the counties that we have so that we can have an understanding of communication, training, and that I can go out and to all of you and, and show you the things that we've done in the DPG. Also, I was an employee of the DPG as a regional field director. Um, Derek Jackson gave you some numbers that were out there. As the regional field director, they said to, uh, in order for us to turn blue and for us to win, we need 187,000 votes from your region. Now, the region that I had was called South Suburbs. My team and I went out there, and that's what we wanted to do. We went out there, and we didn't get 187,000 votes. We got 234,000 votes. Ooh, we and I believe that uh, with the organizing skills that I have, that I will bring to you as your vice chair of county liaisons, I will come to your counties. I will communicate effectively with you. I will train you in the way that we need to win in not just 2020. I want us to continue to be, we may be light blue in 2020, but I want us to be a dark blue. And in order for that to happen, I'm asking you humbly to vote for me as your next county liaison so that I can come out to you in your county, whether you live in the east, west, north, or the south of this state of Georgia, all 159 counties, I can come to you, train you on what it is that you need. Although we have, we may have people, as some of the people I said before, that the DPG will hire people to come and be your regional field director. But as a committee, uh, you also will be able to train people. We will have people that are volunteers. We will have people that are paid staff. And when we, once we have all of those together, then we will have a better chance of going forward. So I'm asking you humbly for your vote for the vice chair of the um, county liaison. And my name is Tish McGeezy. Thank you.